Hey, hey, health warriors. I am at the grocery store. I've got a solution for you tonight for a fast, easy dinner. Okay, and I am all about fast and easy. You know that because I'm a busy mom. I know you are too. I'm a busy mom of three kids. So I need solutions where I can just swing into the grocery store or use what's in my freezer and my pantry. And that is what it's all about, you guys, is when you're plant-based and when you're a healthy eater, you do the best. You make the best choices with what you are provided. But you can be very proactive about making good choices by just having a little bit of a game plan and a little bit of preparation. And I am here to help you. Hi, Donna Griffin. I'm here to help you with coming up with solutions and really having in your wheelhouse some fast and easy meals so that when you're in a pinch, you don't go through that drive-through. All right, and this week I'm talking about progress. So when you are on a health journey, you are simply focused on progress, not perfection, just progress. And that's super hard with social media because what we see is a whole lot of perfection. So I'm over the perfection, you guys, no more perfection get on board with just making progress each week. And my challenge for you this week is to focus on progress and focus on a couple of healthy meals. So I posted yesterday, if you've been following me, you know that I've been posting um, meal plans. I've been doing that for 40 weeks, you guys. I think this was week 41. So I put out a weekly meal plan, and if you wanna be a part of that weekly meal plan, you need to get registered. I'm gonna send to your inbox every week a healthy plant-based meal plan. And again, plant-based means modest amounts of meat modest amounts of animal protein. So you're gonna get mostly good healing nutrients, nourishing vitamins and fiber and enzymes, um, minerals, antioxidants. That's what it's all about, to keep a detox and nourish process every day. So if you are gonna be a part of that, you need to get registered today. I'm gonna to drop it in the comments section and that starts next week um, on August 3rd. You will get your first meal plan from me. All right, now if you are joining me live, let me know you're there, say hello, let me know you're where you're joining from. And if you have a fast and easy meal, drop that in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys what fast, easy meals you already have in your toolbox. And I'm gonna to show you one right now that I'm gonna make tonight for my family. So. All right, now this one has a little bit of animal protein in it. You don't have to have that. You could substitute in some portobello mushrooms or some organic tofu or your favorite other um, protein source. But check this out, you guys. This is totally easy. And I'm gonna tell you, I love Publix. They are making it even easier for us to get on the health train. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start by picking up some healthy tortillas. Now, again, this is not about perfection, so I'm not saying this is best practices. This is gonna be on a healthier end of the spectrum. All right, so here we've got some La Tortilla Factory um, non-GMO. These are corn and white uh, wheat flour. So we've got a combination there. So we're gonna start with some tortillas that are all ready to go, non-GMO. So that's your base. Now, on top of that, we're gonna put some chicken or your animal protein source. Now, here's what you can do. Throw this on the skillet, throw it in the oven, go for a quick walk, do some jumping jacks, but you're gonna get your chicken. Now, again, if you want an even faster um, option here, hi, Lynette, hello, Angelica. If you want an even faster option, pick up a rotisserie chicken in your deli. Now, I prefer to go organic, and again, Publix has made it so easy. They have green wise, um, rotisserie chickens all ready to go. All you have to do is take the chicken off the bone, you guys. How easy is that? So you're gonna roll up in a nine by 13 inch pan your, uh, your store-bought tortillas, shred your chicken that you've either baked real quickly or you grab that rotisserie chicken. Throw those together in your pan. And then what you're gonna do is grab a bottle of just some like green salsa, okay? And check the ingredients, you guys. Make sure it doesn't have a bunch of garbage in it. So preferably, again, best practices would be, like I know at the health food store, they have a green, uh, a verde salsa that you can put on top of those tortillas. You're gonna put a, just a little sprinkle of organic cheese, and they've got that right here at Publix, you guys. And it's, you know, cheese isn't necessarily bad. I'm not saying that. So I know best practices would be keep the cheese out, but I also am a practical mama of three and I know my kids like cheese. So put a little bit of organic cheese and then put your salsa, your green salsa or your red salsa in it. Um, I love a green, uh, green enchilada. So that's what we're doing is a green enchilada. So you've got your, again, tortillas, 
grab that rotisserie chicken, the Greenweiser rotisserie chicken, shred it in the tortillas, put a little bit of cheese, and top it with some green salsa. You're gonna just fold those over and put it in the oven, put it like in a 350 oven for maybe 15, 20 minutes, just to get it nice and warm. And all of a sudden you have homemade, semi-homemade, green uh, verde salsa, enchiladas and that was so easy it took like 15 minutes right you guys and what's great is we can keep adding on flavor and nutrients so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna chop some green onions organic preferably green onions on top why because they're one of the eight foods and I teach you this in my programs that you should be eating every day so anything from the allium family that's onions leeks garlic those all have cancer fighting properties you guys and you're not gonna get that at your Mexican food restaurant so you want to chop these up sprinkle it on top before you serve it and guess what you just added anti-cancer nutrients how great is that and it gets better we're gonna add some more flavor here with cilantro and if you're not familiar with cilantro if you don't like it you don't have to add it but I'm gonna tell you cilantro is an herb and it has huge benefits to your health. Again, what's it gonna do? It's antioxidants. It's got huge flavonoids, which are antioxidants that fight those free radicals that really battle degenerative diseases that you do not want, including cancer and heart disease. And it adds like a nice citrusy flavor. So it gives a punch to your enchiladas that are semi-homemade, but it really puts that love factor in and it's gonna help with um, fighting disease too. Antioxidants right here, you guys. So herbs, that's another food. So here we have two of the eight foods that you should be eating daily, herbs and alliums. And again, I teach you those eight foods. Hi, Kelly Little, I teach you those eight foods in my program. And by the way, next program starts August 19th. All right, so now it gets better. If you really want to go crazy, pick up a, just some, uh, you can pick up some avocados, slice some avocado on it, then you've got healthy fats. Do you see how we're adding the nourishments, the nutrients, we're adding flavor and just boosting all of the um, things that you're not gonna get in a restaurant. So you can slice a fresh avocado and put on top, or you can go the easy route and spicy guacamole, non-GMO, this is a great brand. So there you have it. Now, what are we gonna do on the side? Because we need a whole meal. So you've got already green uh, chili enchiladas that took 15 minutes to, to make. And meanwhile, you're doing some jumping jacks, right? So on the side of that, look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up a can, all ready to go, of black beans. Why? Because black beans are one of the top foods to give your mitochondria um, the energy that they need. Um, that's a simple way of putting it. This is a non-BPA non brand. I love Amy's. So I go with black beans. They also make refried if your family prefers that. So just open that up, warm it up. You've got a great side. And here's your last side dish. Pick up, and you guys know I love quinoa. And especially the frozen ones because they're fast and easy. Again, practical, fast, easy solution. So here we've got Southwest quinoa. Green wise, just throw it into your microwave or into a pan and get it all steamed up and fluffy. Now, this is a great thing because quinoa is a seed, third food that you should have every single day in my list of eight foods you should eat daily. I teach you that in the program, so you're gonna know. The quinoa seed is a great addition to your diet and it's ready to go, great source of animal protein. So if you are not using frozen quinoa that's a great fast solution to your everyday diet all right so what we have is green chili enchiladas with a side of black refried beans and quinoa how awesome is that and then to top it off just slice up a few of your mandarin oranges and put on the side for some beautiful color little citrus taste and your kids are gonna love that too all right if you loved this meal you are gonna love my meal plans that come out every week make sure that you get registered for that when I drop it in the comments and if you love the idea of detox my next program starts on August 19th that is perfect for going back to school time and I hope you learned a lot on this video and I hope you're inspired to make progress on healthy meals make progress on your health that is what it's all about you guys not perfection only progress so if you love what you learned what you saw today drop me a note in the comments let me know you watch the replay um, and let me know what you love most about this meal and if you make this meal I want to see it take a picture post it in the comments let me know how it turned out and let me know how your family loved it all right, join me next time. Have a great afternoon, you guys. Bye.